How you doing today? It's Rafi again with Case Suspension. What we're going to be doing today is removing the front diff out of this Jeep Cherokee and installing the Iron Rock Off-Road full over the axle truss kit. Uh, if you're interested in this product, I'll go ahead and throw in the description below where you can find it. And I'm going to show you guys how to get this in. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we got to do is jack up the front end. Make sure you secure it with some jack stands. And we'll drop it down and start taking things off. got the tires off what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and remove the steering components and then we can move on to the shocks and drive shaft and all that but let's get started here first thing we gotta do is remove these cotter pins that are holding on your castle nuts for the tie rod ends don't worry about ruining these guys you will be replacing them so once you get the castle nuts off sometimes these tie rod ends are gonna be kind of a pain to remove Easiest way of doing it, just grab yourself a hammer, give it a little bit of love on the side. So they should fall right out just like that. All right, so next step, let's uh, go ahead and take off this track bar. All right, so now that we got the track bar off, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and remove the brakes. So we're gonna remove the calipers from the rotors here. Uh, set them off to the side, that way they're not in the way anymore, and then we can drop off the shocks and the control arms and yank this puppy out. Alright, so for this application, uh, I'm going to actually need to remove the knuckles from the tubes. So for this, we're going to have to remove the hub assembly. Uh, in order to do that, there's going to be three 13mm uh, 12 point bolts that hold it in from the back. There's one, two, and three on the back. Once you get those broken loose, you want to come up to the front here. Uh, we're going to remove the main cotter pin that holds everything there. Don't lose these. You're going to need them. And then you're going to take a 36 millimeter socket and use your impact gun. Pull this baby off. So now that we got the axle nut out and the three retaining bolts for the hub out from the back, uh, what we're going to have to do is go ahead and pull off the hub. Now, for some of you, you have this thing called rust. In order to fix that, you get a really big hammer, give it a little bit of love. All right, now that we got the hub off, we can go ahead and grab the axle shaft and just slowly pull it straight out. That's how they come out. So in order to get the knuckles off, we're gonna have to loosen up both ball joints. So we took out the cotter pins. Uh, the top ball joint, castle nut's gonna be a 22, and for the bottom, it's gonna be a 28. So we're gonna go ahead and break these guys loose. We can go ahead and give it a little tap to get these knuckles off. So what we're going to do next is actually remove the shocks. Uh, in order to do this, you're going to need a 13 millimeter wrench and a socket in order to loosen them up at the same time. There's going to be two bolts here. So the next step is to go ahead and remove the control arms. For these lowers, we're going to use a 21 millimeter wrench and a 21 millimeter socket on the impact gun and drive them out. So in order to remove the upper control arms, uh, if you're running stock uppers with the stock mounting hardware, you're going to need a T50 uh, wrench on this side, and then a regular 15 millimeter on the other side. What we're going to do is go ahead and break this loose. Alright, so now that we got the front axle out and all the components disconnected, we're going to go ahead and bring it into the garage, start grinding and cutting everything off. Let's get started. Alright guys, so 
Uh, first, I'd like to apologize. It's raining outside. It's a little loud in the shop. But as far as the 30 goes, uh, we went ahead and cut off all the old perches, got it nice and smooth now with our flat disc. We're going to go ahead and prepare the truss for install. All right, so now that we got the tubes welded up to the housing, what we're going to do is go ahead and get our track bar mount and our sway bar link welded onto the truss. There's going to be two tabs here that this sits inside of. Make sure it's on the right way. A tab here for the sway bar link. And we're going to go ahead and weld them together so we can get the truss installed. All right, so now that we got everything all welded up for the track bar end and the sway bar link, we're going to go ahead and weld it onto the actual axle. Now, in order to do this, after you set it down, you want to come to the front of the diff here, measure out three quarters of an inch, and go ahead and set this right there. That way everything lines up square, and then we can go ahead and burn her on. So in addition, when you're welding this, make sure you're doing one side at a time and leave enough time for cool down. You don't want to warp anything here. Take your time, do it once, do it right. So we got the truss all burned on. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and install the Iron Rock Off-Road Heavy Duty Lower Control Arm Mounts. Now in order to do this, you want to go ahead and measure from the housing. We're at 16 and an eighth inches to the outside edge here, and we got half an inch on the driver's side edge here. You want to go ahead and set them at the level you want, burn them in. Alright, so now that the lower control arm mounts are all welded together, what we're going to do is get these C gussets onto the C channels here. Now one thing that does help, uh, go ahead and have someone hold it in place, tack it, and then what made it a little easier for me is I went ahead and got a quick little clamp here, and I went ahead and sucked this down, because you're going to have a fairly large gap here, and it's a lot easier to not try to fill that in with your welder. Let's get these things on. of the Iron Rock Off-Road Dana 30 over axle truss install for the truss, uh, sway bar links, track bar mount, seat gussets, lower control arm mounts, fully installed. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to shoot us a message on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash case suspension. Don't forget to check out our website at casesuspensionlist.com. Huge shout out to Iron Rock Off-Road. Thank you so much for the awesome products. Everything went together amazingly well. Very, very excited to get this installed. And as always, from everyone here at Case Suspension to you, happy trails.